Today, we're cooking up a pork butt. Guys, Smithfield has got some great pork out there, and we have got a wonderful pork butt. It has nothing to do with the pig's butt. It, has, it comes off of the shoulder, believe it or not. So we're going to be cooking up this Boston butt for y'all today on our Outlaw Pellet Smoker. We're going to be cooking it hot. We're going to wrap it. We're going to put on some great Cosmo rubs, guys. So stick around. See how we get this pork butt cooked up to perfection. I am Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by. Guys, I do have a beautiful pork butt. Always love cooking some Smithfield products, and they don't sponsor me. They don't give them to me. I just like cooking them. Right? These, uh, they're, they're uh, ribs, spare ribs, baby backs. Always get some good products from them. But we're going to get this off there. Guys, this is a backyard cook. It is not a competition cook. But I tell you what, it is going to be packed with flavor. It's going to taste wonderful. So come in here close. Let me show you how I get this out of the package, how I season it up, and how it gets onto that outlaw pellet smoker. This is a nice big pork butt. It's about a 10 and a half pounder, just almost 10 and a half pounds. And uh, I'm going to get it out of here. I'm not going to do a lot of trimming on this. Most of this fat will uh, render out. If you get down into one, there's some, some things you ought to remove for competitions. You'll remove them, but for the backyard, guys, I am not going to worry about it. If there's some big pieces hanging off, I'll uh, I'll take those off. But overall, it's going on there just like it is. I'll take off that piece because it was hanging. Kind of go here. I don't really see a whole lot left hanging on. This is kind of a loose fat here. If you wanted to pull some of that loose fat off, you could. Here's what we call our money muscle down on this end down here. But um, that looks fine. Now we got this over, we trimmed it a little bit. Guys, let's, uh, if you want to, just cut through, not down into your meat, but you could put some all oh, little cross hatch marks on here. If you want to kind of cut down to your meat, you don't have to do this. I don't always do this, but it works pretty good and it does help some flavor get down to the meat on this back side if you're not gonna trim this whole fat cap off, right? So just kind of come in here like this. That's going to open up. It's going to let some smoke in there when it gets to heating up. But Kind of went down just to the meat, guys, is all we did. And now we're going to go on with some of our Dirty Bird. Uh, dirty Bird is just not for the birds. It's not just for turkey and uh, chickens and things like that. It is also for some great pork. But we're going to sprinkle this on. Turn it up on its side. And we'll get this... Uh, side good turn it again and we're just going to get some dirty bird now I'll tell you what there's a piece that's hanging i didn't see a while ago that piece is going to burn up so might as well just take that off and we'll give that to the dogs they'll they'll appreciate that trim right there let's get a some dirty bird all the way around on our fat side and if you want to open up some of these spots where you did the uh, cross hatch marks on here, guys. Just open them up and get you some dirty bird down in there. It's gonna get some flavor down close to that meat. Nothing wrong with that at all. It's looking pretty good on top of that, guys. This is a great combination right here. We have got same uh, honey chipotle killer bee. This is gonna give us just a, a little bit of heat on here, but a ton of flavor and same fantastic color. This is a big piece of meat, guys. It'll hold a lot of seasoning, so go ahead and pour it on real good. If you wanted to use a slather on here, you could. I usually use mustard on my pork. Uh, didn't use any today, but not to say I don't. Little honey chipotle killer bee all the way around on the edges. Right there. Got our bottom, got our four sides. We'll lay this down and it's a backyard, guys. So I'm just gonna gather up some of that season that was on the board. Let's flip it over. This is our top. And what we're gonna do is same combination. Dirty bird. And we've got our sides. Dirty birds on the top. The uh, Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. Guys, this is great on chicken also, let me tell you. I love this Chipotle Honey Killer Bee. 
It is great. That's on. We're going to get it on the Outlaw Smoker now. So come over there. Let's look at the smoker. Get this on there. Open this up. You can see I got a brisket on there already. We got a little birthday party going on tonight. So my son and my nephew are here. Daughter couldn't make it for hers. Her birthday's Valentine's Day, but we got those on there. That pit is running about 275 right now, and we're gonna keep it there. In about three hours, we're gonna wrap that up and let y'all see us wrap it. So see you on three hours. We got that pork butt on there, 275 degrees. We're gonna go about three hours, maybe two and a half when it's the right color. Guys, we're gonna pull it off and wrap it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Can y'all see? There is smoke coming out of my breath. This don't happen a lot down here, but I've got a fire behind me trying to stay warm out here today. That cold snap that's running through the states is in Texas, guys, and the temperatures are plummeting, but that's on, and we're gonna get it wrapped up. While we're waiting for that, I just wanna tell you about a playlist I got going. I am gonna put up an elk playlist. Now, some of y'all know I've lost almost 150 pounds, 135 pounds to date from 370 to 235 on the Roger Ragland diet. For doing that, my wife sent me on an elk hunt. She's gonna try to get down to 220 and lose a total of 150, guys. But by the time of the hunt, we're hoping that's happening. We're in for the draw in Wyoming. Hey, we're gonna be going with a dear friend of mine, Pat Hundley, and also uh, Joe Young's be guiding us through there. I'm gonna put a link for Joe's uh, Instagram so y'all can find him on Instagram. I think it's just Joe Young 86 is what it is, but I'll put a link below so y'all can find him on Instagram. He's got a bunch of great pictures of uh, hunts that he has guided up in Wyoming. Well, we're gonna be up there hunting. I'm gonna show you the, the new gun I got, my Begara Highlander Premier in 300 Wind Mag. I'm gonna be talking to you about this extreme mountain gear from Scree, they have came on. They're supporting the channel, they're supporting this hunt. We're gonna be talking about my backpack, uh, different clothes, different boots, things like that I'm gonna wear. Getting ready for this hunt of going from, from 370 to be able to go on an elk hunt in Wyoming, guys. I'm just excited about it. I hope you get excited about it and you get excited to see some of the, the products I'm using, be able to see what I'm doing, and maybe someday fulfill that dream of a lifetime. And what you're going to see immediately right now is that pork butt getting wrapped. That means it's been two and a half, three hours from now. It's ready to go. So we're going to wrap it up and let you see how we do that. Down on the wrapping paper. You guys, I don't know if it makes any difference. I get this from Cosmos. You can find it on their website. But I'm just going to wrap this up. It's got lovely, lovely color. So wrap this up, kind of like you wrap a brisket. I always get it where it'll go three-fourths all the way across. Hold it down. Everything there. All right, hold it up, Just put a little crease on it, right there. Roll it over, and this is where you're really going to get a good tight pull on it. I don't want it to be sticking out the edge when it folds, so this has a little bit extra. So. Right there, roll it up. Nice tight package, ready to go back on the pit. I got about another two hours to cook on this. We've been at it about two hours and 15 minutes, maybe two hours and 30 minutes. Uh, wrapped up my brisket first, got the pork butt going, but hey, it's ready to go on there. We're gonna get it on and see if we get these babies cooked up and show you how good this pork butt turned out. Here we go. This pork butt is, is feeling tender, guys. Uh, what I did was, it was just right at about 203. Thought it needed to go a little bit longer. I turned the pellet grill off. So it goes into cool down mode and the temperature gradually started going down. That was about an hour ago. And this isn't too hot to handle, so I'm gonna open it up. Get it out of this paper, let y'all look at it. And oh man, would you look at that. Guys, this is, that is, that is a thing of beauty. I'll tell you what that is. That is lovely. There's a lot of, a lot of moisture in here. A lot of it's fat. That's really what you catch when you, when you work with butcher paper. You work, work with foil, you'll catch a lot of the, uh, 
au jus also. You work with butcher paper mainly, you're going to catch that fat. Look at this thing just coming apart. Stuck a little bit down on the paper, but this thing, man, I don't, I'll tell you what, it's just falling apart. I'm going to have to put it straight into my pan. That, look here, well, look at this. Here's the bone right here. Man, look at that. Use my knife here. And it's just, it's coming apart. This pork butt is tender. You can see it's moist. Man. Right there's the culprit where it's stuck to my paper just a little bit. That's the fat cap, so we're not worried about that. I cooked fat cap down. But man, guys. It is very cold here today. I want you to look at this. I got a fire going. You had my coffee pot on there all day. We cooked up this pork butt and we cooked up a brisket. Be looking for that brisket video. I don't know which one I'll put out first. Whichever one it is, I'll put a link down below and they'll both have the link for the other one so y'all can see how they turned out. Just backyard cooks today. Guys, y'all saw me do this. There's the bone. This thing is just wanting to come apart. It just, I'd put it on the cutting board, but it, it, it just, this thing is tender, look at, can y'all see that? Man, we got the overhead cameras on, so make sure you got those in there where y'all can see that, but this meat is just, it's coming apart. That's all it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Man, everybody, my wife especially, she loves this pulled pork, so this thing is pulling beautifully. Man, y'all are waiting for me to take a taste, aren't you? Always like to do that. Remember what we used on it? Didn't use a binder today. If you want to use a mustard binder, that's usually what I use. But uh, what we did was we took some Dirty Bird, coated it good with that, came back with the Honey Chipotle Killer Bee. That is a great, great flavor on pork, and it's a beautiful color. Uh, whether it's chicken or pork, either one, that's a great combination. If you don't like the Chipotle, if that's a little too, too uh, spicy for you, a little too much heat, then what you do is, is use just a regular killer bee. It's very good also, but let's take some of this pork, see how it turned out. We know it's tender and we know it's moist. Mmm. Man, this thing is packed with flavor. That is great. Family's gonna be happy. Let me clean my hands off here. Gosh, thank y'all so much for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I really do appreciate it, guys. I appreciate y'all stopping by. I appreciate you sharing my videos and supporting the channel. When you, when you share this video, that's the number one way to, to help me. The other ways are is to watch this video from beginning to end. Hit that notification bell after you subscribe so you know every time I put up a video, guys, 41,000 subscribers. We're growing. We're adding people daily, and that's because of y'all. Thank y'all so very much for that. Hey, remember to check out some of my, my sponsors, uh, Heads or Tails Hats. Always go look at their hats. They link down below for their website or find them at one of the major rodeos around you. Give this recipe a try. If you try it, let me know. I love to hear how everything turns out for y'all. Give some of this Cosmo a try. Go see Cosmo and tell him Chef Johnny sent you over there. But guys, tremendous. Tremendous pulled pork, a tremendous cook. You can do it at home. You can do it on your pellet grill. You can do it on your Weber kettle. Whatever you got, give it a try. Then get out in the comments and say, hey, chef, I tried your recipe. It came out great because I know if you follow the instructions I give you, you're going to have a great pulled pork also. So thanks for stopping by. Remember to check out Scree and remember to check out my new playlist about my elk hunt. We'll be adding videos regularly on that as we build up to the hunt, letting you see the equipment we're taking with us. Give us some advice. If you hunt out there in the Rockies, Come and tell us about it. Let us know about that and tell me things I need to have with me and what I need to do. But that's going to be a great playlist. And once we harvest that elk, we're going to be doing a lot of fantastic wild game videos to add to our wild game playlist. And I'll put that playlist down below also. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine today. Hey, tell your friends and family about us, and we're going to see you all down the road. So long, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.